All right, Elite Code 3, and today's video is going to be a uh, Bulls and Bears series, and this is um, some videos that I used to do in the past a lot. I haven't done them in a while, but I had fun going through my collection and trying to find uh, good examples to, that shows how much the market actually does fluctuate here. So um, I got nine Bulls and seven Bears. Most videos I'd like to have ten of each, but, I mean, it was tough. It was tough to find Bears. <laughs> it actually was, like, solid Bear examples. But, um... So the, uh, I, I just used the PSA uh, SMRs for data, and the comparison is basically a, a five-year comparison. We're doing January 2014 prices compared to February 2019. So all the prices are pretty accurate in here. Um, if you ever check these and then check the actual market, they're pretty much uh, right on point. So um, I've got the stacks there. I'm going to flip the camera around, and we'll kind of see how much these cards really have fluctuated in the past five years all right so here we go I've got two stacks here and we're gonna go through these cards and we're just gonna check out um, market fluctuations that's what's um, pretty intriguing about collecting for a lot of people so we're starting off with our first bowl here and it's a 2001 SPX breeze this is the gold edition that doesn't say it on the slab but there is a gold and a blue and these are very cool cards um, there's 250 of them. This is a mint nine. Um, so back five years ago, this card had a, a value of 275. Current value is $900. So a extreme uh, bull right there. Um, here's a bear, and you'll probably notice a trend in the in the bears as we go through these. But um, this is exquisite collection shady PSA eight. So it's got a really sick patch in there out of 275 um the old price on this was 100 dollars for an eight and uh current price is 35 dollars so that's pretty pretty low for a 10,000 yard back but you know the hobby has no respect for uh, running backs except when they're rookies pretty much so i guess that's the way it goes um here's a crazy uh bull let me take it out of this because i think it takes away from the card I have to put a. I don't know why this isn't in a perfect fit, but um, here's the SP Authentic LeBron. Um, I can't remember if I got this slab myself or if I bought it. I honestly don't remember, guys. But it has shot in price, as most collectors know. Um, old price is one thousand one hundred and seventy-five, and the new price is sixteen thousand. If you can believe it, so it's crazy how. Um, the market can change like that. So um, here's our next bear. It's another running back, a 2008 exquisite Charles. This is actually a pop one, I believe. But um, so back in 2014, this card was up to 375, which is pretty good. Um, current value is 125, so it's definitely decreased a lot. Um, Charles had an awesome career, but as we know. He's a running back, and he's probably not a Hall of Famer. And as, as soon as you retire, people, they move on to the next uh, player. So that's what's going to happen with Charles, I think. Um, next up is Moss. So I was shocked at the at the price of this SP Authentic. Um, it was two. It was only two twenty five in January of twenty fourteen, and the current price is. Um, 1400 so absolutely tremendous rise for this card this is a pretty low pop on this one i want to say 40 or 50 it might be lower it could be higher that's just my best guess on that one um and then we're going to the next one so i couldn't find the uh, market data for this and i'm not sure why because this is a 2012 issue and uh 2012 issued card in the, the magazine was early 2014 just it just wasn't in there But I can tell you guys I know that this card was uh, right at about six hundred dollars and in a ten This this is the variation to 50 in a ten. I, I believe this card was over a thousand to twelve hundred um, Current value on this don't laugh <laughs> thirty five dollars actually a PSA 10 might be a like 50 but You guys get the gist right? So that, that one pretty much went from like twelve hundred to fifty dollars. So there's there's good investments and bad. That's a bad one. You're not always gonna be perfect collecting. There are mistakes. 
Um, this is a, a neat one. I just wanted to, sh I just kind of just wanted to show the car because I thought it was a cool one. Um, I picked this up probably about a year ago. It's a 58 Tops Jim Brown rookie, and this is a PSA 7. Um, 695 was the old price, and the new price is 1500. So a nice steady rise for this Jim Brown rookie and a seven. Okay, here's another uh, hometown card. This is a Hosmer. This was actually an SP. This is out, out of 2011 Bowman Chrome. And, um, you know, he was a hotter player when he was younger. He was kind of cooled off. I don't think going to the San Diego's really helped much with the hobby. Um, but the old price of this is a pretty sought after card. It was 225 Current value is 50 bucks. All right, here's a sweet one. Some of these got pulled from the vault, so they haven't been put in perfect fits yet. Uh, Brady Contenders in an 8. The case has a little crack right there. So this would most likely be a BGS 9. If I, I snapped it and sent it. But as is, it's a PSA 8. And uh, this is another crazy jumper. 700 was the old price for it. And the new price is 7500 So the Brady Contenders rookie ticket in an 8. Um, here's Vic, and this isn't like a terrible bear, it's just one that I wanted to note, and we got to have a Vic in every video, right? So like, this is the playoff contender, I like how they say contender and not contenders, but print run on this is 327 just throwing that in there, but um, the old price was 450 and the new price is 300 so you know, a modest drop off, but not, not terrible at all, so. Going back here for some contenders, and this is the LT. Um, let me flip. I got the notes over here. LT's was 450. So in t five years ago, he was just uh, hanging off the spikes. I th I think he retired after the 2012 season. So I mean, he was out of the league for about a year. But um, this is a PSA 10. This ha this has a print of 600 on it, and uh, old price 450. Current market value is twelve fifty, so about a three times increase. I think that card jumped up to close to two thousand at one point, and it's kind of dropped off a little bit, but not terribly. We're gonna do another bull because we have more bulls than bears in this one. If I do stuff that's not slabbed for the next time I do this, I'll have a lot more bears. It's just I don't have a lot of good examples of slabbed bears. So here's the uh, Rogers Top Scrum. This card's actually cooled off lately in the past, you know, a couple months. But um, this was 140, and now it's 250. So a nice, steady climb for the top scrum. This is just the base one, but it's still a pretty iconic card. Here's our bear, Miguel Sano. So I don't know what the the deal is with his weight and what you know what to expect from him going forward. But um, the uh, Old price on this, I think they had it around 200, and the new one's about 75 or 100. I might be a little off on those prices, but this is a card that's an, it's an obvious bear, and it has gone down. So that's the blue refractor in a nine. So we got to know. Um, we've got this really cool Bob Gibson card. This is the rookie. So I wanted to throw a couple vintage in here because I I do collect vintage. Lately, I just haven't been uh, focusing on it as much. But this Bob Gibson was 375, and the current value is 550. So it hasn't gone like crazy, but it has uh, hasn't dropped off. And he is a Hall of Fame pitcher, so I wouldn't expect it to drop off at all, really. If anything, it stays around 550, 600 for that card. Um, here's our last bear. So it's actually a player that could be a Hall of Famer. We'll see how things shake out. But um, we got the we got the Calvin Johnson um, contenders, and this was 425. Of course, that was back when he was playing, and now it's 250. So it has dropped off pretty considerably. Okay, and, and the last card of this video. Um, so this is just, I think this goes right in line with how playoff contenders has exploded in the hobby, and I guess not. You call it Panini contenders, but. This is uh, Philip Rivers, and I think this the print on this is 556. But um, it just shows, you know, Breeze and Brady have kind of pushed all the other contenders' values up, and I guess Patrick Mahomes' contenders are crazy too. I don't really check them because they're just too too expensive. But um, 
this card was pretty surprising. I thought it was a great jumper. I used to buy these raw for like 60 bucks. So it was 125 back in the day. And it's sitting at 600 So that's it for this video. Here's the big stack of cards. I'll put, get these back sorted to where they were. But um, it was fun doing this. I'll do another one here in the next month or so. And we'll have some more fun with trends in the market later.